guys thanks for watching the video well this is a uh, one of the traps I've been working on well, one of the newer ones that's doing like the hundred dollar trap type thing I just started the uh, training part I figured some of you guys might like to see how I actually train and see how to do a little faster right now I'm doing the uh, tier fours which is cheaper to do them by uh, because tier fours cost a lot of gold to instant build I'm not sure trap I mean this uh, this account will actually need I haven't put on the defense gear yet to see but I'm gonna guess probably around two billion maybe so that's what I'm looking for I'm gonna see how long it takes me this one actually managed to get the supreme marshals out of its bigger pack that it had to get and I uh, that. So, it's training pretty well right now. Not everyone will have the chance to get that unless they're pretty patient. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, switch, well, skip to the end of this, and uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to do. I'm going to go to train my tier 2s, kind of like that. I should do that for most of them, well, at least some of them. If I get down too low in gold, I'll just go to uh, using speeds instead. Do a couple more here. And I'll go to those. Whoops. I'm going to use 200. Scroll through the speeds just takes too long. So I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to try. It's going to take a little bit of how you do it. Really nice super fast without upgrading all your barracks getting the best gear and using all the recruiter gems and everything a lot more at one time it's about all there is to super long. See you guys when I'm done with this. Alright, so I just finished training. It only took me I don't know, 20 something minutes to actually do all the troops that I needed. I might need a few more. I'm not sure I'll have to set up my defense gear, which I'm about to start working on. Which for this one, 
it's got uh, the frost and the imperial top and pretty much everything that it really needs. I mean, the gems are not the greatest right now. Still need a couple more gems, like uh, to replace the scare, which isn't the best, but it does give defense, so it ain't it ain't the worst. But it does work, so let's start working on that. Need to set up a preset for this. I don't know why I even clicked that, but uh, yeah. It don't take all that long. I'm used to doing it with General's gear, which takes way longer. I mean, probably around the two hour mark, but it still isn't that long compared to uh, doing it with no gear and stuff like that. Which is why I was telling people to uh, kind of push for getting that General's gear on the $10 pack, but they took that away, so you can't get that anymore. That's kind of why I was telling people to get that, because it makes training so much easier. But they took that out, so now when you are doing the $100 pack thing, you want to aim for one with training gear. Kind of like the Supreme Marshals or Zell Generals, or at least Grand, Grand Marshals, any, any training gear. Because they took out that $10 one, which made it super easy. The Frost Lords and stuff, you can you can get all of that from the Infernos, which is pretty much how I got the majority of the gold with this one had. Which it take me it took me about uh, eighty five million to train somewhere around there. It it wasn't too bad. And with the uh, generals or grand marshals or oh my god. One of the lower sets, it take a little more, but you could probably do it with around 100. I'll have to come in here and redo this one day. I keep messing up. Hopefully that two billion will be enough troops. I think it should be. Uh, nothing else is really going to be massively helpful, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, max these out. Which again, it don't really uh, make much of a difference. No matter where you're going to put the extra skill points, but you want to aim for something that's going to be at least a little bit helpful. Which the track attack is kind of overlooked. The war bricks and stuff, it's going to be super friendly. But they are super overlooked because in the stats, like the stars on the actual troops, it shows no attack, but they do have some attack. They are a little bit beneficial. Okay, I don't know why that's being so laggy. Anyways, let's put that on. The whole thing's being laggy. Stop. Alright. I broke it. It won't stop lagging. 
Hold on, guys. Let me fix this. All right, so it, I made it stop doing that. Got my gear on now, and uh, let's see how much defense we're actually getting with this. So this one ended up getting 3,600, around 3,900 if you add in the individual. Which guys, the adding in the individual don't really make much of a difference. It just helps me uh, kind of do my math a little better because all this time I've been adding the individual when I do the uh, adding up how many troops you need and stuff like that. So that's the only reason I add in the individual. It don't really help much in, during a hit. It all gets debuffed, but that's just what my troop numbers are based on is adding in the individual. So it's not going to help you any during a hit. But if you guys need help with uh, getting what your troop numbers in and all that, and you're asking me, be sure to add your individual because that's what my stuff is based on. So you take this number, 3675, and add it to this number right here, 265, which if you did the individuals, it will be 312 right there. And you just add that up, and whatever that comes out to be, you just tell me that and I'll be able to give you a more accurate troop count because that's what all my testing is based on I do total defense overall just add both of those together and that'll be your total overall defense and it'll help me give you more accurate uh, troop count because that's just what everything is based on that I've tested so hopefully this uh, helped you guys somehow watching me train troops or uh, do my skill tree whatever Did... thanks for watching the video guys hopefully that was at least somewhat entertaining I guess I don't know I will see you guys in the next one also I was using a 1500% uh, training Q boost and a 75% uh, training speed boost so it did help a little bit there. And I was using a blessing. Oh, it might still be going. No, it ended. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. That's how you train troops a little faster. And be sure to set your skill tree, skill tree correctly. If you guys need to see that, I'll make a video on that. I think I already did it, though. Anyways, see you guys. Thanks for watching.